Hi, everyone. It might be a little bit nuts because my kids are around, uh, but we're going to try to get through this. So today's lesson is on Hanukkah. And the story of Hanukkah takes place uh, in between some of the times we've already talked about. Yep, here's your pacifier. And you're welcome. Uh, so just to recap a little bit, the ancient Jews had two temples. Uh, they were both eventually destroyed. Here was the original temple, and the key detail in the story today takes place right here in what's called the Holy of Holies, where in the first temple the Ark of the Covenant would have been. Um, so, there were two kingdoms, they both eventually get destroyed. When the second one gets conquered, its people are forced to move to Babylon, and then Babylon itself is conquered, and the Jews are allowed to come home and rebuild. So here are the two temples, uh, sorry, here are the two kingdoms. Jerusalem right here is where the temple is, or was. Uh, this is what the temple looked like after it was rebuilt. Um, and in between those two times, in between the first temple and the second temple, you start to get a lot of changes in Jewish culture and religion. You get local houses of prayer, the synagogues. You get people focusing more upon the scriptures, um, and you get a lot of... So those are the big changes. Um, and then another big division that occurred was the division between those who support the, gr the growing Greek influence, the Hellenic influence, and those who resisted it. And these are the people uh, we'll be focusing on today, the Maccabees. So this is the empire that conquered the northern kingdom. Uh, and this is the empire that conquered Judea, the southern kingdom. And then this is the Persian empire that conquered Babylon. And it's in this empire that they're allowed to come home. So they're home, and then they get conquered again by Alexander the Great. And then his empire falls apart very quickly after his death. And so it's replaced by what's essentially still a Greek empire, uh, the Seleucid Empire here. And as you can see, there's still a little bit of division between empires, but for the most part, uh, modern Israel and Judea there would be governed by the Seleucids. And then the Seleucids were re eventually replaced by the Romans. So the story of Hanukkah takes place between those last two, between the Seleucid Empire and the Roman Empire. And the story shows um, what some of the Greek influence was, and it shows how some people resisted that influence. And this also ends up showing the Jews um, why they should rebel. And so it sort of fuels the rebellions that in, against the Roman Empire that eventually lead to um, the deportation of the Jews and the creation of the diaspora, which is where all the Jews are scattered throughout Europe and North Africa and the Middle East. So that's the story for today. There's um, a worksheet and a reading that goes along with it. All right.